In this video, we're going to look at one way to use the mosaic filter in Olive 0.2. Let's begin by right click in the project window and create a new sequence by selecting new and sequence. Click OK. Let's import a video clip in by right click import and go to the location where you save your video clips and import one of the video clip onto the project window. Now select the video clip and go to the node editor. These nodes are the nodes that are attached to the video clip. The media in, the transform tool and the video clip. To get all the nodes, let's right click, filter and show all. Now let's come to the tools here and add a title by selecting this add tool here and select title and drag it on the timeline on top of the video clip. To increase and decrease the height of the track, hold on Ctrl and minus, or increase, hold on Ctrl and plus. So hold Ctrl and minus to decrease the height of the track. Now let's drag the timeline to the middle, select the title, go to the text node, select the text node, and go to the parameter editor. Expand and change the text. Change the font to one of the tick font and change the font size to 200. Now that we are done with the properties of the text, let's add in the mosaic filter. Let's make room for the mosaic filter. Right click in the node editor, go to add, filter and mosaic. Just drop it in here and automatically it's connected to the text and the title which is on the timeline. As you can see now, the effect of the mosaic filter have on the text. Now, let's keep frame it. Let's go to the beginning of the title or the text. Select the mosaic filter under the parameter editor and come to the properties of the mosaic node and change the horizontal value to 300 and the vertical value to 300. Keep frame it. Go to the middle of the clip and change the value to 10 for the horizontal and the vertical to 10. And go to the end of the clip and change both value to 1. So when we scrub through the timeline, you can see the effect of the mosaic filter onto the text. This is one way to use the mosaic effect. And if you have any other suggestions, please list them in the comment below. And again, thank you for watching.